Hey, hi guys, how are we doing? This is Raphael from Where to Eat 239. We are live here with Mr. Bill Zimmer, executive chef at the coast at Edgewater Beach Hotel. How and doing? how are you doing? I'm good, man. How are you? Good, good. So what we're doing today is we're actually talking a little bit about your restaurant week menu. Mm -hmm. uh, you've been very gracious enough to go ahead and do the full spread for us. Mm -hmm. And uh, so we're going to talk about it. Well, f before we even get into restaurant week, what everyone needs to know, Restaurant Week starts on Thursday. It's November 30th through December 13th. And if you go to swflrestaurantweek.com, you'll be able to see all the menus, restaurants, and, and the three cities we're in now, which is Naples, Fort Myers, and Cape Coral. Can everyone hear us good? Is there any feedback? Is there any, is there any views? So it's live? Okay. Great. So we're going to start with, well, Bill, tell us a little bit about Coast. Because it's kind of a hidden gem. Coast uh, is very much a hidden gem. It's um, part of the Edgewater Beach Hotel, which has been in Naples, I do believe, since 1965. Um, the hotel has changed hands a few times. But Coast, uh, Coast, what the restaurant that was here prior to Coast was upstairs on the sixth floor. It was a private club. 2010, they moved the restaurant downstairs, and that's when it became Coast. As you can see, it has some of the best views in Naples. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we definitely... um, come March, the sun sets directly in the middle here. Yeah, let's get a view of the views here. I mean, this is, especially, and this is the only restaurant week participant that has this view that's on the beach. I, I mean, if you've never ate here, how do you even know that it's here? I mean, yeah, this... I, it's hard, very hard to find. Well, tell us a little bit about how long have you been with Coast? What's I've been here um, five years. Came here as the executive chef. I m since moved up to the director of food and beverage as well as the executive chef. So I um, have two hats here. So kind of gives me I can play in the front, stay in the back if I want. Yeah, yeah. So it keeps what it interesting. A, what would you say would be just the signature of what the food is like here? I, I keep it simple and fresh. I don't like to hide anything with butter, uh, creams, and I buy the freshest products I can get. Where do you get your products from? Local, local well, guys? I source everything locally, yeah. Awesome, 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 awesome. Well, also, too, being, Coast being right here on the beach, you guys did an amazing job post-Irma and during Irma. You guys really were community-driven, right? Yeah. We, um, we were very fortunate with Irma. We had very little damage. Yeah. And we were very lucky. We were one of the first hotels to open post Irma. So um, our employees rallied together. We got it all cleaned up and we opened the Saturday after Irma. Awesome. How many rooms did you, you guys gave rooms to first responders we, and uh, you guys are doing a lot yeah, in the community, right? Yeah, we had, um, we had a huge block with FPNL and all mm -hmm. their um, subcontractors. And then we also had a bunch of uh, tree companies stay here. That's awesome. We, we always love supporting, the, with Where to Eat 239, we love supporting the restaurants, of course, that are local, that are sourcing local, but also that are doing great local things to the community. So, you know, amends to you guys for, for definitely you. doing that. And uh, so here we were able to put together our Restaurant Week spread. Mm -hmm. And uh, so you were able to put together the courses, right? So, That's, well, yeah. this is mine. This is not part of, <laughs> this is not part of Restaurant Week. It can That's be. That's an option. It is an option. <laughs> this is mine. So tell us a little about this first dish right here. Um, the first one, it's a peppered goat cheese bruschetta. I took a, a heirloom tomato, put it on the bottom, peppered goat cheese, prosciutto, the arugula that's wilted now, and then a little cold pressed olive oil with some balsamic glaze. The second one, it's a a uh, deviled egg with candied bacon and foie gras. Now, this is also the portions that you're going to get. This is exactly what you're going to get when you come in. Awesome. So you're going to get three deviled yeah, yeah. eggs. You're going to get three in three the first half. Yes. Three yes. bruschettas. Yes. Okay. So the deviled eggs are on a beet carpaccio. And then we made the deviled eggs with foie gras, the egg yolks, a little mustard, mixed it all up, piped it back in. Most importantly, tell us about the bacon. The, we candied the bacon this morning. So we take some applewood bacon, marinate it with brown sugar and some herbs, bake it off, and then that's what we got right there. If there's anyone that's watching, please tag Guy <laughs> on the candied bacon. Let him know that we're going to eat candied bacon yes. without him. 
Yes, we are. <laughs> awesome. Um, so are these things regularly on your menu? These will be featured on my new menu, which should be coming out in a couple weeks. So a lot of these dishes that you're including for Restaurant Week. Every dish I did for Restaurant Week is part of the new menu. So that's awesome. So one of the best things about the Costa's menu is that everything is brand new. Mm -hmm. It's not on their menu. And if you're if you like it, if it works, then it's going to be incorporated into the new menu. Yes. Awesome. Awesome. That's really exciting for us. I'm looking forward to it. So where did where did those two come from? Like, out of all the things you could have incorporated in your menu, what were the, the reasons behind that? Uh, I wanted something different. I just thought you were going to say candied bacon. No. <laughs> well, candied bacon, too. <laughs> it's good to eat. <laughs> but awesome. just wanted to do something different. Cool, cool, cool. Tell us a little bit about what we got here. So, so these are second courses, these right? These are um, the entree courses. We have a salad course after you you choose one of these, and then we get into our entrees. So this one is a, um, a spin on fried chicken with waffles. Instead of doing your normal waffles, I did a coconut waffle. And then I did a Thai chili. What makes, it the, what makes it the coconut waffle? Is the breading? I mixed the waffle. I mixed. I made it with coconut milk and shredded coconut. And then the syrup, I took uh, maple syrup and a little sriracha with some sweet chili and cooked it down. Healthy eaters all over Naples just went crazy when you said, <laughs> when you said coconut yeah. milk. And then we put a little broccolini and then a little um, chicken demi on top of the chicken. Um, crispy, light, airy, uh, really good. The next one is a bone-in New York strip steak with a point raised blue cheese. Uh, Herrick Coverts, Yukon Gold mashed potatoes, and then a little bit of red wine demi glaze on top. Demi glaze. That, you said blue cheese crumbles too. Uh, Point Reyes blue cheese. It's a much softer, flavorful blue cheese. Wow, that looks really good. That's that's. I love blue cheese. We um, well between cheese and bacon, we're not really going to go wrong. <laughs> so what we I have here? We can. Then this is a Faroe Island salmon. Faroe Islands is where the salmon comes from, and then there's um, some couscous, asparagus, and then a roasted pepper sauce. Ah, what uh, what uh, out of these three courses, what is your favorite? You, and I know you listen. I know you're biased, but you have to pick one. <laughs> I would have to say that one. Ah, chef's favorite. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what do we have for desserts too? Because I know there's no desserts on the table. But um, there is a third we're doing a. Uh, you had a choice of a house-made key lime pie or creme brulees, a flight of creme brulees. Uh, what are you looking forward to most? Showcasing the food and showcasing the restaurant. Yeah, because, I mean, if you look behind us, I mean, these views are absolutely immaculate. And you can schedule, you can do weddings here, uh, you can do banquets here, and you can do it all on the beach, right? Everything on the beach. Well, if you had to give us one last line for Restaurant Week and, and invite people over, what would, what would you tell people have never been here before and what to expect out of your menu um come hungry i don't do small portions and come for sunset then come and have enjoy a dinner so come for sunset so there's a bar that's available so we have a cabana bar down there by the pool so you can go enjoy a relaxing mm -hmm. cocktail you can come here for dinner and you got to make your reservations and uh hopefully enjoy restaurant week so restaurant week is if you go to swflrestaurantweek.com you will get to choose a city you get to choose the restaurant, choose the menu, and go ahead and make your reservation November 30th through December 13th. Perfect. Sounds good? All right, guys. Thanks so much. Thank you.